So I was bored out of my mind when I decided to hop on some YouTube. Not knowing what I should watch, I decided to just look for awful videos to laugh at. So I typed in trending. I found a video under the title, Little Girl Goes to Heaven While Parents Watching. Emotional. And what caught my eye was the channel name, TSM Ninja, who I recognized as a very popular Fortnite streamer. While it's not a regular for gaming channels to make an emotional or serious video every now and then, from the look of Ninja's channel, this doesn't seem to be something he does. This means one thing. Ninja has been kidnapped and his channel stu- No, no, that's dumb. But thankfully, the video has been taken off this channel by its original users. So yes, the channel TSM Ninja stole a video of parents thinking it was their final moments with their child, and he took it just for views. So after that lovely video, I decided to investigate this channel a little more. And after scrolling through the sea of clickbait, I found another video that caught my eye. I lost my dad today. Where unlike the last time where he just stole somebody else's emotional video for views, this time he actually claims to be the child in the video who just lost his father and at the end of the video even adds in this little montage. I decided to find the original video after seeing that, to see if it was actually part of it, or if this channel just edited in that for his own gain. And of course, it was. So not only did this channel steal this video of him going through an awful time that no one his age should ever have to face, but he edits in a montage from a separate video. Those are two different videos that he edited together for his own gain. Combine them posing as the kid begging for people to subscribe to his channel to live out his father's dream and become a Twitch streamer. I hope after this video is whoever watches goes and subscribes supports the kid's channel. I'll leave his link in the description. It's under James Plays. Uh, he still posts pretty regularly. When I just made this video he posts I think three videos on that day. So I know I'm the only official detective in this right now but Others with a sharp eye might have been able to notice the name is TSM Ninja, but you might be able to guess it's not the real guy. And while he does post multiple videos a day, they're not exactly what you'd see on Ninja's channel from what I imagine. While further exploration has brought me to this interesting little email I found attached to his uh, about section, I was curious, maybe he had other channels or other schemes going on, and I wanted to find out what. While I did find a second YouTube channel that's pretty dead and only has a couple videos, what really was interesting is I found a Facebook page under the name Erica Paul. Damn Paulers, they seem to be behind all the drama. They're behind this channel too? I doubt it. But as you can imagine, this isn't the real Erica channel. So this Hannah Montana of YouTube shadows as a Facebook channel who if you thought was sick before is using strippers and kids with mental disabilities for profit. Just sick. This channel is basically just clickbait, scam, you know, false claims. Oh, if you like, you'll get free merch. And So between this and the real Erica Paul channels, it's kind of hard to tell the two apart. But after hours of research and dozens of opinions, I think... This is the fake one, but it might take a little longer for confirmation. I hope after all this we're all on the same page. Channel is garbage, uses other people's content, it's clickbait, uses other people's heartbreak for its own gain. So if you take anything from this video, even if you made it this far, I think it's important that we all report this channel and hope YouTube gets to delete channels like these. While I'm sure, like the infestation they are, they'll come back with similar videos, but this channel's been going for a while. 
It's gotten over 70 million views, while also stealing someone's identity for a name and Facebook channel. So I think it's time for this person to go, and for this case, to be closed.